Good day. Welcome to Sleepy Time Tales with Candy. That's me. <laughs> it's nice to see you. I love to read books. It's one of my very favorite things to do. So, I thought we could read a book together. Would you like that? Oh, great. Well, let's get nice and comfy. That's it. Have you got your pillow? Good. And snuggle down. And let's get ready to listen to a story. It's time to light the sleepy time lantern. Today's story is called Blake's Bedtime Adventures. One day, Blake was digging in the garden. He was on the hunt for dinosaur bones. He dug and scraped and brushed and piled the dirt all around him. Suddenly, his shovel hit something hard. He reached into the dirt and pulled out a dinosaur bone. The sun was getting low in the sky and the shadows started to get longer. Blake looked up and saw a dinosaur walking towards him. The dinosaur has come to get back his bone, Blake cried. Stand back, dinosaur. This bone is mine. But then the dinosaur spoke. Well, that is a great find, came Mum's voice. Oh, it wasn't a dinosaur after all. It's just Mum. Time for a bath, dinosaur boy. Into the house you go, Mum said. Blake skipped over shadows as he ran into the house. There were dinosaurs everywhere. Big ones and small ones and flying ones and spiky ones all around him. Into the bathroom they chased him, dropping dirt all through the house. Mum turned on the bathroom light. The dinosaurs disappeared. Blake got undressed and jumped into the bathtub. Splash! The water sloshed over the side. There's a storm in the tub, Blake cried. The waves rose up all around him and the wind picked up speed. A boat was rocking back and forth on the waves. Suddenly, a sea monster rose up in the distance. The sea monster got closer and closer. Don't worry, little boat. I'll save you. Stay back, sea monster. You won't hurt this boat while I'm here, Blake yelled. But then, the sea monster spoke. They are big waves, came Mum's voice. Oh, it wasn't a sea monster after all. It's just mum. Time for bed, sailor boy. Into your pyjamas you go, mum said. Blake dried off with a fluffy towel. Then he held it over his shoulders like a cape and he raced to his bedroom. His cape waved and flapped and flew and swooshed all around him. He was a superhero on his way to rescue the city from the giant supervillain. He flew through the bedroom door and pounced on his bed. There were animals everywhere. He fought through the crowd of animals until he found his super pyjamas. Pulling them on, he saw the supervillain creeping down the hallway. Blake stood in front of his scared animal friends. Don't worry, Bedroom City. I'll protect you. Stay back, giant supervillain. I'm the protector of these animals. 
They are a lot of fluffy friends, came Mum's voice. Oh, it wasn't a giant supervillain after all. It's just Mum. Time for bed, superhero boy. Off to brush your teeth you go, Mum said. Blake climbed over his fluffy animals and headed back to the bathroom. He grabbed the toothpaste and reached for his toothbrush. But his toothbrush wasn't there. In its place was a sword that hovered over the well of magical water. For whoever used the toothpaste would need the magic water to save them from the evil tooth germs. Blake snatched up the sword and fought off the tooth germs as he brushed. They were all around the bathroom. With his sword in hand, he danced all around the bathroom, waving his sword about. But then he looked up into the bathroom mirror and saw a giant swarm of tooth germs floating behind him. Stay back, you tooth germs. My magic sword will swipe you away and wash you down the drain. What a very magical sword, came Mum's voice. Ow! Oh, it wasn't a swarm of tooth germs after all. It's just Mum. Time for bed, germ fighting boy. Into bed you go, Mum said. As Blake climbed into bed, all of his adventures raced through his mind. He had had a busy day. He fought off a dinosaur, saved a boat from a sea monster, protected the bedroom city from a supervillain, and washed tooth germs down the drain. As he snuggled down, he looked at his bedroom door and heard footsteps coming down the hall. What was it? Another dinosaur? A monster? A villain or a germ? Nah, he thought to himself. I know who that is. It's just Mum. Time for bed, my special boy, Mum said as she tucked him in. Now off to sleep you go. Story time is over and night time has begun. You know it's time to snuggle down with the setting of the sun. So hug your pillow tightly and grab your teddy too as the moon climbs high up in the sky. Stars sparkle just for you so close your eyes say good night let your imagination take flight tomorrow's a new day with good a let's play so drift off to dreamland till night becomes day we'll go to a dreams where you feel the stars shoot around you and magic is real and when you awake I'll be right here for you and remember these things that are true you are clever you are kind you are brave you are great and I'm proud to say that you're my mate And I love you So close your eyes, say goodnight Let your imagination take flight Tomorrow's a new day Drift off to dreamland till night becomes
one's day. Close your eyes, say good night. Let your imagination take flight. Great maids like you are one of a kind, and I love you. Good night, mate. Sleep tight.